Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket plugin spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. Now it's every Saturdays. We just finished a 10 week long scheduled uh, tutorials and now we're kind of into some things that have been building up. Citizens has been a huge plugin that I've kind of put off for a long time because I know it's super complicated and you could do all the things with it. There's a lot of things you can do with it. So I'm pretty much just gonna be scratching the surface on this. Hopefully give you guys enough to get you started and kind of set you in the right directions. In any case, if you have a suggestion of a plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the gibbles. That'd be the comment section for you new people. And I will give you a shout out when I get to it. Like Citizens is brought to you by Drop Boza or requested by I Love Diamonds. Julie and Tomas, Pro MC Kings, John Flat, Pukid Verse Gaming, Lugis 806, and Gavin Cunningham. So, thank you guys for the suggestion. It's been a long time coming. This is a big plugin. It allows you to put NPCs all through your server. It has a lot of tie-ins with quests and a few other plugins out there that let your players interact with these player these players, which you can probably tell uh, that is an NPC next to me. That's another cool thing is you can put NPCs in that have player skins. Now you can't customize those player skins um, because it's all rendered client side. So all of your players connected would have to have a certain client, which I think it works with Spoutcraft. But, you know, otherwise it just pulls the skin from the Minecraft database. It is built, or it is made by Full Wall and A Punch. The main thing, if you're running this or if you're trying to set this up and it's having problems, check your server log. Most likely, 95 Eight percent of the time is probably because you're not running the right version of spigot or bucket this one I'm actually running a 1.86 um, I don't know the exact version I'll put it in here version and there you go now you have the exact version I'm 20 versions behind so I could probably update that and give it a go if you're running issues there'll be a link as well to their ticketing system I mean you could try asking me a question I'm probably not gonna be able to help you out a whole lot or you can go to the IRC link is in the gibble so let's get into it real quick the main thing let's uh, let's play let's create another player here let's go NPC create that's pretty much the commands you want to use and then we're gonna name it uh, it is me Joey which is my at one of my admins on my fan server and then we're gonna do double slash type and then we're gonna say it's player type so that means it's a player and then it creates him looking the same direction I was grabs his skin puts his name above all that fun stuff now you can change the name of this name but once you do that it's probably gonna reset their it'll reset their skin back to default if you just use NPC name so <clears throat> there is a whole lot of commands like I said, if you want to create an NPC that's a little bit more complicated, there's actually already built in characters out there. Um, like Denison's or Denzin is one that allows a lot of flexibility and configuration. Uh, Ultra Trader, which is kind of like a trading character. There will be a link to the characters, which basically gives you a link to a jar file that you download, run in your plugins folder, and start it up. So I already installed a blacksmith one. So let's go ahead. I'll show you guys this one. So basically to create it, we were going to go NPC create. Uh, we're going to call him Smithy and then trait. Now this is this is where you put the trait in for the blacksmith. You can actually make them, you can, you can link traits. So you can make a blacksmith trader if you wanted to. Um, <clears throat> which is kind of cool. So, blacksmith, and there we go. We've created him. His face looks kind of weird. So, what you could do with this guy is you can right click with him, and he's gonna say, "Oh, it's gonna cost me that much to fix it." And you could do that with any tools or anything like that. Like I said, I would check out Denizen or Denzin, and then Ultra Traders being a big one. Um, there we go. Fixed up my uh, fixed up my hoe. So. Um, let's see what else do we got here let's create a zombie let's do NPC NPC create let's create Mel who is type zombie 
So here's Mel. A couple of fun things you can do is you can actually do NPC equip and then you can give him something. So if you right click on it, he's going to put it on. So if it's like armor or something like that, if you shift right click, he's going to put it in his uh, hand there. So let's, let's put some armor on him, which is going to eventually uh, break because he is, um, it's daytime. So and then we want to get out of that, do NPC equip. So you can also do NPC list to see all the NPCs out there. NPC select to start operating on another one. But we actually want to work on Mal here. Maybe you want to remove whatever it is. You can just right click on them and it's going to remove all the things. You can also do this for Enderman, but it's only blocks that they'll be able to carry. You knew it was sheep, but that's, um, you can right click them with shears and that will shear the sheep. Or you can right click it click them again it brings the wool back you can right click them with a dye to change the color and then right click them again with nothing in your hand it'll clear the dye out um, same thing with saddles on pigs all that stuff maybe we don't want him to stand there we want him to walk around we're gonna do NPC path um, and it enters the path editor so then we just walk around and left click various locations uh, here we go and then he's just gonna wander around now uh, following this path so that's pretty cool you can change the type of waypoint uh, rather being linear or circular or I think uh, what's all the, the linear wander or guided using the waypoint command which is waypoint let's just put that Just waypoint provider. And then you could change that to be guided. Or wander. So he'll just wander aimlessly, not following a path. Now if you create a villager, you can do an NPC you can do NPC profession and change their profession. There'll be a link to all of these commands uh, in the gibbles below. That would be the description. And you can do that. If you do NPC powered, it'll change a um, a creeper into a power creeper. You could do the zombie mod. Uh, you can make them babies or whatever. So we could do NPC zombie mod and then make him a baby. So now he's a baby. Uh, or we could make him a villager. Um, I think, is it adults? How do you make him not a baby? There we go. Just put it in again. And now he's a villager zombie, which is pretty cool. You make him vulnerable. If you do NPC vulnerable, that means they'll be vulnerable to attacks and uh, damage and all that stuff. And like we've already done is NPC list and NPC select. And we would do NPC remove uh, mal. I think we could just do by name. Yeah, it's really cool. So, yeah, that's that's kind of the basis of it. Like I said, uh, you're pretty much going to find the biggest deal in the traits and the custom characters. You can build templates, which is another was one thing I didn't really mention here. Um, so if you're making multiple NPCs, you can copy the you can create a template of traits and stuff that you've already made for one NPC and then attach it to another. And that's just templates help. Uh, template help there we go template without s and then you would just apply or create the template name and all that in there and then uh, NPC there's copy as well which is going to copy the NPC we can copy uh, smithy I guess which we do NPC copy um, oh actually we got to select him NPC uh, list NPC select six, NPC copy, and then name new guy. So now he's gonna, he's copied over. Does he still? And he still has all the traits. I don't know why the skin's all weird. Probably just because he's not named Smithy. Um, but anyway, so there you go. That's pretty much the basics, like basic basics. You guys can get really complicated and all that stuff. Like I said, if it's not working for you, it is a complicated mod. You need to be running the correct version. So make sure in this example, we're using 1.8.6. Um, 
Permissions are pretty straightforward. Citizens.admin.star is pretty much all your admin ones. Citizens.help is the, all those help commands. And there's a whole list. Be sure to check the description. Uh, but if you want them to be able to create, edit their own NPCs, not other, you know, owner, uh, server owner NPCs, you can do citizens.npc.star, and then anybody can create a NPC. Um, <clears throat> particularly if you don't want them to create their own NPCs, but you want them to be able to talk and interact with them, you got to be able to give them citizen.npc.talk or citizen.npc.tech. In order to right click on any NPCs, uh, like ones that are just going to be trader, traders or ones that just have text back and forth, you need to have a stick uh, open in order to right click on it. You can actually change that in the config file, which I'll show you guys in a second here. Okay, so here we are in our server files. We're just gonna hop over to plugins. And so we put the citizens.jar in there. We also put the blacksmith one, that's that uh, custom character that, that we found. And then once you do that, it creates a blacksmith in here, which you can customize the blacksmith, all of their stuff, which is really cool. So we're going to go into citizens, not a whole lot to do in here. We're going to open up the config file and this is the selection area. This is where you, what you would change the item ID so that players can right click on uh, NPCs pretty much not really going to go over a whole lot. This is pretty, all pretty self-explanatory. You may not even need to modify any of this stuff for creating it, a new NPC. That's how much that will cost. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So let's, and then this is kind of nice. It has a language file in here. So you modify all of the custom text in the plugin, which is really cool. So let's hop back over. That's like there wasn't a whole lot to go over. So let's wrap this all up. I hope that was helpful for you guys, at least to get you started. So you know some places to go to, to continue modifying this to be whatever it is that you want. It does This does link in a lot with a lot of other plugins. Once you start clicking around in that bucket page, you'll find all those other plugins that this links to you know it works with quests works with um quite a few other ones out there and it's super powerful and it's a great base so hopefully you guys have some fun with it and uh good luck with it so this is cause from my friends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless